Let's check out Turkey and the Wolf. This is by Mason Hereford and JJ Good. Flavor Trippin' in New Orleans. I haven't actually been here, so I'm really excited to check it out. I've cooked some dishes that would be similar, but uh, this is just opens up so many doors. So here's the table of contents. We have a month of Sundays, the salad ranch, big hat, no cattle, a Delta Folly, enjoy every sandwich, shake hands with beef, oh, oh, here we go, more. We have side hustle, mama tried, just liquor and dessert from here on out, and then when I dip, you dip, we dip. Uh, I love this. So there's quite a few recipes in here. I love that we have a whole list of everything with the page numbers already there if you're looking for something specific. Let's look at the recipes and the photos. Ooh, look at those. This is awesome. So it's a little hard to see, but here we actually do have the ingredient list on the side. It makes 12. These are Molly's biscuits. This looks so good. Um, here's just an idea of where the recipe comes from, what you can serve with this, and here's the directions on the very bottom. There is a continued. These are a little more involved, but uh, they do serve 12. This looks awesome. I'd love to have some homemade biscuits if I could. So here's Molly's breakfast retreat. Recipes from there. Here we go. This is the country gravy upgrade. Oh, this looks so good. My mouth is watering. We have the Grand Slam McMuffin. Super easy. This book is clearly really fun, funky, great design. Let's move forward a little further. We have gas station tostadas. Honestly, if a tostada looked like that at the gas station, I would have no problem with that. It looks good. Here we have visualize world peas on toast. Look at how beautiful this photo is. So there are healthy recipes. There are not healthy recipes, but and these kind of look really elevated to me. This looks awesome. I think this might even be caviar on top of hash browns. Let's look at it. This says some seafood. This, oh, ooh, wow, catfish blues. Gosh, the recipes, uh, the, the pictures of these recipes are really beautiful. I've never tried grilling greens on a, on a grill. It looks really awesome. Here we have crab cake muffins. Now I recognize this guy. He's really well known. Um, he, yeah, he's got some great stuff. I think he was on uh, Iron Chef America, the newer one on Netflix. So he, oh God, and everything he made looks so good. So it's definitely elevated. Yep, I recognize, I recognize some of this stuff. Here we have how to eat sardines. Chimchiri cream cheese. Oh, that's right here. This is really awesome. He's kind of uplifting some of the, uh, I would say, like, redneck, um, you know, foods. Like I, and I say that without shame. Like, I grew up with a lot of these foods. So I just love that we get elevated versions of these. This is the Italian-American sandwich. So he does a lot of sandwiches. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll do some more. Here's Meatloaf, the sandwich, not the musician. This looks awesome. Very tasty. I'll do some more. Here we have grocery store tomato sauce. Interesting. So here's some basics it looks like at the very back. These are buttermilk mashed potatoes that look fantastic. So creamy. I uh, used to call it stuffing. Now I call it dressing. And whoa, this is said, this one, chapters mama tried. This is wild. <laughs> That's really fun. Uh, Dan Steen as a hot dog. And I'll do a few more. I want to check out some of these uh, desserts too. Spicy chicken thigh roaster sandwich, which looks unbelievable. Oh, I would die. This looks and go to heaven. This sounds awesome. No churn ice cream sundae. Originally, I thought that was like a little, like an egg and bacon, but no, this is a sundae. It has, it looks like. Um, Snickers ice cream bars. Oh my goodness. So for, even though these are uplifted recipes, they do, the recipes do use really interesting ingredients, really easy on hand stuff. So for instance, this is like beet butter and tahini on ice cream. Just beets, sugar, butter, salt, vanilla. And then it says 
one pint of cookies and cream ice cream. I mean, so you can just buy whatever brand you like. When I dip, you dip, we dip. And here's a whole host of all the dips he provides. This is a cool cookbook. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's really fun. There's a lot of, I mean, just breathtaking recipes, things that are uh, maybe familiar, like meatloaf, but making into a sandwich, but even better. So check this out. This is Turkey and the Wolf. This is by uh, Mason Hereford, and JJ Good also contributes. If you're looking for more cookbooks, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, and our Amazon Live channel. You can also, down below, let us know of any cookbooks you guys would like to see. Make sure to comment, like, uh, subscribe so you know when our uh, videos are uploaded. Thank you so much.